What's up, everybody? This is Disco Demonic Hydroponic. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, and I know I say that a lot. <laughs> I've just been super busy, man. As you can tell, I'm not even shaving. I'm so busy. Uh, I'm just going to give a lot of updates on what's happening and give a couple of reviews of some services I've been receiving from uh, fellow practitioners. Uh, yes, just because we're practitioners doesn't mean that we don't get services from other practitioners. Uh, we help each other out. We do stuff. It's, you know, it's beneficial to always get um magic in every way that you know basically that you can you know what i'm saying so anyways uh first of all the main thing i've been doing is working on a book for la santa muerte uh this book is going to be more geared towards LA lhp however it's also going to be just detached from the whole christian like dogma bullshit that everybody who works with santa muerte nowadays seems to be like working with and it's just so annoying to me Santa Muerte is not a Christian, um, even though her name is Santa Muerte, that is a mask that she wears. She's not a Christian saint. She does not work with God or whatever the fuck that shit is. And I know I'm going to offend some people. I don't care. I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of seeing that everybody, they pray to God first before you get, there's all these rules that are not actual things you have to, um, do when working with La Santa Muerte. Another thing is I see a lot of that blows my mind is that you know they talk about this is this European Christianization of everything. Basically, the colonizers, um, God, they're pushing this colonizer God onto like Aztec beliefs, which they were not associated whatsoever. <clears throat> and so uh, <clears throat> I explain what La Santa Muerte actually is <clears throat> through gnosis, the what uh, gnosis that I've gained. Uh, some different things upon uh, like our entities the same as other entities. I speak about Lucifer. There's a lot of things in there that I talk about that uh, a lot of crazy information that I'm getting that's like really good information. Uh, I'm also going to be adding like rights that uh, will enable you to do remote viewing, uh, just like all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, working with your ancestors and dreams, uh, uh, ways of dream. I have a way of like. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of stuff in there. It's just like trying to think of everything right now. It's just crazy. But there's going to be a lot of stuff in there, a lot of different rights that you can do. Uh, at the and Towards like closer to the end of the book. In the beginning of the book, I was just going to start with like just how to get into a magical mindset, working through meditation, how to actually meditate, uh, and you know just like things to consider, thought exercises that you can do in order to uh, put yourself into magical mindsets. So that's the kind of stuff I'm working on right now with that. Uh, so that's taking some time. I know I've been talking about this book for a while. I took a long break from it, but um, I've been on it more. And uh, uh, yeah, it's it's. I think it's going to be really beneficial for a lot of people. Uh, so I hope everybody likes it. Um, it's an amalgamation of uh, my practices with her and a lot of the stuff that got me to where I am with her now and other entities. So uh, I talk about different techniques, how to connect with spirits and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's going to be highly beneficial. And I'm not going to charge a lot for this book either. It's uh, just straight to the point uh, how to do it. And um, I don't, like I said, I don't want to charge a lot because, you know, it's going to teach you how to do a lot of stuff. But uh, it's not going to be super expensive. So that way a lot of people can afford it. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing one in Spanish, um, the same book in Spanish. Uh, so um, I'm also working on possibly going to do, do that as well. I'm not really sure yet because I think... Uh, Spanish speakers, I think they're pretty, uh, they could use this information as well. Though I know traditionally a lot of people who work with something, what they are going to be stuck in that Catholicist like paradigm, which is, like I said, annoying as shit. However, so moving forward, that's that. Uh, I actually am also going to push a couple of new rights that I have. I just started offering um, just like a three card reading, uh, and uh, I have it set for 30 minutes for like 20 bucks. Just so you guys kind of, you know, like, for the new people who haven't worked with me, just to see kind of like what I can do. Uh, uh, but it also, if you're, you've been with me for a while, that's uh, that's not off limits to you either, you know. Um, but basically, uh, I have it set for 30 minutes. You can kind of ask as many questions as you want, as long as we're not rushing, and as long as Spirit's willing to answer, and as long as it's like something, that, you know, don't come at me with a list of questions and expect them all answered. Uh, we got the 30 minutes. Whatever we can fit into that 30 minutes is, is whatever we're going to do. Um, so that's another thing. Uh, another right that I have that I've uh, come out with is I'm doing a monthly Santa Muerte blessing right. That's 13 bucks. You can sign up for it. I'm going to redo it every month. And I have it set as a group, so just look at it. Look out for that as a group right. I'm going to add all the links below 
uh, so you can kind of you can go through my site as well as a couple of other things I'm going to talk about. Um, and uh, the right that I have now that to me is amazing, and uh, everybody I've done it on, it's amazing, is the uh, Auric Fire of Posterity. So basically, uh, what this is, it's uh, work with Kostroma. Kostroma is a, uh, a Slavic uh, fertility goddess who came to me a while back. I don't know if you remember, one of the first videos I made was of Kostroma. Well, was Kostroma. Uh, so I talk about her like from years ago. So she came back into the picture and gave me this right that basically um, creates an auric like entity uh, around you that you that helps you in all kinds of ways. It helps with protection. It brings good luck. It helps the way like the way people see you. It, it like makes them see you in a positive light. Uh, it can um, do all, several kinds of things. Like it has its base things that it does. And then uh, it has like a couple of surprises as well as I can program or ask it to do other stuff as well. Uh, as long as the list isn't too long, you know what I'm saying? That, I think that's pretty predominant in magic. Like don't make the list too long because, you know, it's, it doesn't work right if you do it like that. So uh, if you hire me for that, we can talk about what would work and what wouldn't. So that's totally cool. Uh, I have this set for a, a good amount of money because it is such a powerful right and it's like it's beneficial in all kinds of ways and it actually you can pass it on to future uh, generations of your of uh, whatever so basically the right is set up to where when you die if you want to pass it on to somebody else in your answer in your f family line you can pass it on to them if you do not choose anybody it'll move on by itself or you can choose to keep it with you into your next life if you incarnate on this plane again so <clears throat> if you do not incarnate on this plane again what you can do it actually goes with you into whatever energetic form or whatever however you manifest next in your existence uh, to and it merges with you and you're actually that much more powerful so it does a lot of cool stuff also um, one of the things that uh, that I did not expect from this that, that have come about is like I had one client uh, have, a, have a kundalini experience from this uh, maybe three weeks after I had uh, everybody uh, had heightened psychic experiences in whatever way they were doing I had one guy his dreams became super vivid my psychic experiences have increased because I, I did it on myself <coughs> my psychic experience experiences have increased like fucking uh, incredibly uh, after this right and, and um, I had another person her psychic experience, like everybody I did it on, this like immediate psychic boosts were uh, a side effect of this right. So uh, I highly recommend if you're trying. I know one f for me personally, when I was first starting out, especially even now, you're always trying to get better at you know sharpening your psychic abilities, and it's always hard to find something that's actually legit. You know, you run into people who are just like, you know, I can open your third eye, all kinds of shit like that. They do something or they specialize in kundalini and then they do something for you and nothing happens. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking annoying as shit. I paid several hundred dollars to people for like nothing, you know, like basically nothing ever happens from it. So, um, uh, so I know that other people have as well. So this is an immediate, like, it's, there's so many benefits to this. You will notice something, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, basically... That's that, and uh, I also wanted to do a couple of uh, reviews. So one person that has been helping me, uh, one, one uh, I'm gonna add a link below is Intimate Whispers. Intimate Whispers has a lot of great rights. This is a, this is someone I've been going to uh, for, I don't know how long now, but it's been a little while, uh, maybe a couple of months, several months, whatever, but they are um, really good at their practice. They know what they're doing. I highly recommend them. So if you don't come to me, you can go to them. They're actually really, uh, Really good. I, like I said, I, I, I've been going to them. They got some cool stuff. So another person that I actually, something I received recently is this necklace. And this is a Moldavite moonstone. And so you can see how badass it already looks just like that. And I've been using this in my rights because I can feel the energy. So the Moldavite's on the top, the moonstone's on the bottom. When I first received this, okay, so I'm sorry. This is from Divina Domina Luna and Sether 218 of Nomura Alta. Again, I'm adding links in the description below. Uh, when I first received this, man, the, it was like a punch in the face. This thing was just like so, the energy was crazy. 
uh, I actually thought they had charged it with some sort of uh, essence. I was like, what entity did you attach to this? And there, she told me, uh, like, no, it was no entity. That's just like the Moldavite. They had it packed in some herbs. I actually saved the herbs and put them on my altar. And like a couple of crystals, a little bit of crystals in there. So uh, this thing packed the punch. And like I said, I've been using it in my rites. And it, it helps with um, <clears throat> several different things. Like, you know, when I'm working on my, my rites, it, it boosts the power. So it's really it's really good. I love this necklace. I've been using it every day since I, uh, since I got it. So I just wanted to give that review. Intimate Whispers, check them out. And check out my new services on the links down below. Uh, again, like I've char I'm charging, like doing some very cheap as far as money wise, right? Just to get, you know, show people what I can do. And just so like, I know everybody can't afford the crazy prices that these things cost. But then you also have to consider, man, it's like, you know, all the work that we put into this, all the work that I know that I put into these rights, just getting them together, getting them right, uh, tweaking them just right so they're so effective. Uh, I actually, if you do not have a personalized sigil for the uh, uh, the auric fire, I will channel one for you. I can give you that sigil as well. Um, and yeah, so I think that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. I know I look tired, man. I've been busy. And I, I hope everybody gets the book. The book's going to be awesome. It's going to be, uh, honestly, it's going to it's gonna shake the foundations of the Santa Muerte beliefs. And I know a lot of people are going to talk shit about it. And I already know that there's going to be a lot of people who do not want things to change. And I'm sorry, but Santa Muerte is not a, uh, it's not a Christian entity. So basically, there you go. That, that says basically all the book is going to say. It's going to get in there. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, share it with your friends. If you hate it, share it with your enemies.